why Hong Kong and Macau are a part of every Indian traveler's wish list? Because we don't need a visa and it has everything one can ask for. Vibrant markets, great food, pristine beaches, amusement parks. This list is endless and quite tempting too. So much so that this is my fifth trip to Hong Kong. And this time I'm sharing my recommendations with you. I use the Make My Trip app to book my flights and my hotel. Now I'm all checked in and ready to go. If you're an animal lover like me, there's no way you can miss this amazing place. And it's a great place for kids to hang out. Ocean Park, Hong Kong. For the wildlife buffs, meet the lazy and adorable giant pandas. Or the active little red pandas. But, as the name goes, this park is known for its marine life. Look at them chilling, literally. Soaking up the sun on the other hand are the real stars, sea lions and dolphins. And for those seeking more excitement, there are ample games and rides. And this one's the craziest. All that madness in the park must only be followed by a calming experience at sea. The Aqua Luna is also called the Chinese junk boat, which sails between the bustling Kowloon side and the glamorous Hong Kong Central. And the best part, drinks are on the house. Get your spot at the Simsha Sui Promenade by 8 pm to witness the spectacular Symphony of Lights show. Guess where I am? Hong Kong Disneyland. The city's best gift to Asia. From fantasy land to Toy Story land to adventure land. I don't know where to go. Tomorrowland, Star Wars. All the Star Wars fans, this new edition is epic. As for me, meeting Chewbacca was a dream come true. Talking about meeting your favorite stars, Madame Tussauds Hong Kong is known for just that. Jackie Chan and Brangelina are some of Hollywood's favorites. But here are mine. Right outside the museum is the Sky Terrace at the peak, known for its bird's eye view of all the islands. This is like an aerial map of Hong Kong, which truly comes alive at night. Hong Kong is even more beautiful by night and there's no better place to experience this than Lan Kwai Fong. This place gets livelier and livelier and livelier as the night goes by. Buzzing with locals and tourists alike, this nocturnal paradise is the perfect way to end your day. Fascinating rituals, vibrant colours, can't not visit the Wong Tai Sing temple here. Despite the hustle and bustle, this place has an energy that's that's very soothing. And this cow sim prayer is truly therapeutic. Speaking of therapy, time for the best kind, retail therapy. If you are big on street shopping, then head to the ladies market. 
So this is the famous ladies market. But trust me, this isn't only for ladies, there's enough and more for everybody else. From fashionable bags, to souvenirs, to quirky gadgets, you can find everything here. How much is this for? Sadi. Three zero. And put on your bargaining hats. Handy, okay. If you haven't had your fill of shopping from the ladies market, you can head to the Temple Street Night Market close by. It's got good deals and looks like this. Hong Kong offers a lot more than just street shopping. From high street brands to luxury labels, Causeway Bay has got it covered. But if you are looking for a one-stop shop, then walk into the Times Square Mall. This is the place you come to for all things luxury that are worth busting your credit card over. A quick ferry ride is all you need to get to the Vegas of the East, Macau. And this is how you experience it in all its glory. Magnificent Venetian. It's luxury and opulence personified. Time to go pamper myself. Savor some Michelin starred Indian cuisine. Visit the casinos. Shop by the Grand Canal. And get a feel of Venice with a delightful gondola ride. A beautiful day at the Venetian Macau must only be followed by a dash of adventure. Macau Tower is popular with thrill seekers for the world's highest bungee and skywalk. Living on the edge is not enough. Sometimes you have to walk on it too. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. here and I've saved the best for last. Pongping 360's cable car ride offers spectacular views of this green island. But the final destination is even more breathtaking. The grand statue of Tian Tan or Big Buddha epitomizes magnificence and tranquility. Sitting 34 meters tall, it takes 268 steps to climb to. But these steps are not as scary as they look. Anybody can do it. And you know what? It's totally worth the effort. And with that, like all good things, this trip too comes to an end. Five amazing days with my recommendations to help you plan your next trip here. So take your leaves, book those flights and head east. After all, Dil to Romi hai.